The Corrective Revolution officially launched as the Corrective Movement was a reform program officially just a change in policy launched on the 15th of May 1971 by President Anwar Sadat. It involved purging Nasserist members of the government and security forces, often considered pro-Soviet and left-wing, and drumming up popular support by presenting the takeover as a continuation of the Egyptian Revolution of 1952, while at the same time radically changing track on issues of foreign policy, economy, and ideology. Sadat's corrective revolution also included the imprisonment of other political forces in Egypt, including liberals and Islamists. History Shortly after taking office, Sadat shocked many Egyptians by dismissing and imprisoning two of the most powerful figures in the regime, Vice President Ali Sabri, who had close ties with Soviet officials, and Sharawi Goma, the interior minister, who controlled the secret police. Sadat's rising popularity would accelerate after he cut back the powers of the secret police, expelled Soviet military from the country and reformed the Egyptian army for a renewed confrontation with Israel. During this time, Egypt was suffering greatly from economic problems caused by the Six-Day War and the Soviet relationship also declined due to their unreliability and refusal of Sadat's requests for more military support. Sadat also targeted liberals and Islamists. The imprisonment of Islamists had a strong effect later on, as these Islamists were often members of the Takfir wal Hijra movement and the Corrective Revolution marked the beginning of the crackdown that caused them to spread across the Arab world and Europe, ultimately resulting in the spread of radical political Islam in these regions, and also the assassination of Anwar Sadat. References, <references>